Now we can press enter and the drive will magically be partitioned. Welcome back to the adventure. Today we are attempting to automatically partition and format a hard drive in MS-DOS 7.1. Previously, we extracted all the files needed to make our own MS-DOS 7.1 installation disk from Windows 98. To expand on our custom installation, let's try automatically partitioning and formatting the hard drive to make things easier when setting up a new system. To get started, boot the system with the Windows 98 boot disk we downloaded previously. At the prompt, type in fdisk forward slash question mark. This will display a list of switches. According to the help file, we have slash status and slash x at our disposal. The version of fdisk included with Windows 98 actually has several undocumented switches. Let's try using one of those switches and see how far we get. At the prompt, type in fdisk forward slash pri colon then the size we want to make the partition. As the drive I'm currently working with is 500 megabytes, we can type in 500. Then we need to enter the drive number, which in this case is one. Now we can press enter and the drive will magically be partitioned. The slash PRI switch creates a primary partition and marks it active. The drive size entered will determine the type of file system. Anything 512 megabytes or less will be a FAT16 partition. Anything over 512 megabytes will be a FAT32 partition. Unless you want to force a FAT16 partition, you can use the slash PRIO instead of PRI. The drive number designates what drive we want to be partitioned. This is useful if you have more than one hard drive attached to the system. Now that we have the drive partitioned, we can format it. At the prompt, type format forward slash question mark. None of these switches will really work for our needs. Thankfully, format also has some undocumented switches. At the prompt, type format C colon forward slash S forward slash auto test. The switch will copy over system files, making the drive bootable. The auto test switch will suppress the display and prompts from format, which is exactly what we want. We have the commands and switches we want to use. From here, let's put it all together in a batch file. At the prompt, type copy con setup.bat. Copy con will capture the keyboard input and output that to a file, which we named setup.bat. Press enter and the cursor will drop to the next line. Type at echo off. This will hide the display of the preceding commands. Press enter. On this line, type fdisk forward slash pri colon percent one percent two. The percent one and percent two are variables. So when we go to run setup.bat, we can enter the disk size, which is percent one, and the disk number, which is percent two. Press enter. Now type format C colon forward slash S forward slash auto test. To end, press control Z. We should get the prompt that one file was copied. Let's test the batch file and make sure it works. We can run fdisk and use option three to delete the current partition then reboot the computer. We can verify the partition is gone by typing in fdisk forward slash status. Awesome, no partitions are there. At the prompt, type setup.bat 501 and press enter. There we go. Now let's add a few more lines to our batch file. At the prompt, type edit setup.bat. Below the line for format, let's add md c colon backslash dos. This will create the dos folder for us. We can then add another line for copy e colon backslash asterisk dot asterisk c colon backslash dos. The boot disk we are using 
sets the CD-ROM to drive E. So this will copy the contents from the ISO to our DOS directory. While DOS would now be installed, I say we take this one step further. We are going to need a config sys and autoexec.bat file, so why not try to have our batch file create that for us? We can enter echo device equals c colon backslash dos backslash hymem.sys forward slash test mem colon off greater than symbol config.sys. Hymem.sys is the driver that allows DOS to access extended memory. The test mem off switch is used to disable the default memory test on boot. The greater than symbol is used to redirect the output of echo to a file, which in this case is config.sys. Press enter and go to the next line. Now we can type echo DOS equals hi comma umb two greater than signs config.sys. This will allow DOS to load into the high memory area and manage upper memory blocks. The double greater than symbol is used to redirect the output of echo and append it to the specified file. Okay. New line. Type echo device equals c colon backslash DOS backslash emm386.exe no ems double greater than config.sys emm386 is our memory manager and no ems disables access to expanded memory this is a typical setting for broad program compatibility same thing as before the output of echo is appended to the specified file. Now to create our autoexec.bat file. On a new line, type echo path equals c colon backslash dos greater than autoexec.bat. For the next line, type prompt dollar sign p dollar sign g double greater than autoexec.bat now save and exit then we could run the batch file again on a new virtual machine we have successfully automated the process for partitioning and formatting the hard drive with the added bonus of creating a config.sys and autoexec.bat file. Unfortunately, our batch file is not user-friendly. We know how to use it because we wrote it. However, even an experienced DOS user may not know what arguments to use. There is also no help file that explains what the batch file is doing or how to use it. We can solve these issues in the next video. Thanks for stopping by.